Hey everyone, welcome to my latest video tutorial on my Tunnel Vision channel. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the car crash that I did in Night of Halloween, my latest video on YouTube. So let me just show you guys quickly uh, what I mean. I'm just going to play this clip quickly. Alright, so what we're going to be looking at is how to achieve that effect using After Effects. Um, I'm using After Effects CS5. So if we can just jump right into After Effects, I'll show you guys quickly. Okay, so in After Effects, I've got two clips that we're going to use. The first one is the car that's actually just parked. It's a video clip of the car. So I'm going to go to a nice frame about there and I'm going to freeze frame. So right click, go to time, freeze frame. And then we're going to grab the little pen tool and I'm going to roto around the car. Um, you need to do this sort of more accurately than I'm doing here. I'm just doing it roughly. So yeah, click, 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 click. There we go. And what you can do, you can just feather it a bit. So MM and let's just add 10 pixels. That should be fine for now. And then I'm going to take my other clip, which is a clip of the other car driving past. And I'm just going to look for, uh, here we go. That's it. Okay, so there you can see the car approaching. And it's supposed to hit the car. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to that moment of impact right about there. Mm, one back. And I'm going to go to my car that's being parked in the road and I'm going to press P for position and keyframe that. And then I'm just going to go frame by frame a little bit forward to about there. And I am going to move the car out of the way like so. So if we play this back, let's have a look. Okay, there you go. Doesn't look too realistic now, but we're going to add some more stuff to it. So the first thing that you can do, let's just zoom in here a bit, is to add a bit of rotation to the car because this car will actually rotate a bit if you bump into it. So let's go to about there. And I'm going to select this car. I'm going to press R for rotation, keyframe that, go forward. And I'm going to rotate it like so. OK, so if you look at that now, you can see the car is actually sort of spinning away. Looks better now. OK, next thing we're going to add is motion blur. That will just look a lot better than just without motion blur. So let's do that. OK, so all you have to do is for your car parked layer, I'm just going to enable motion blur and I'm going to also enable motion blur for your composition. So if we play it back now, you will see motion blur and try and match your motion blur with your other car as well. So as you can see, it's actually looking quite good now. So I'm not going to change anything there. Just leave it. And there you go. Just click that again. Okay. Another thing that I added, I'm not going to go through it in this tutorial is I used a particular uh, just to add some particle effects when it actually crashes into the car, some sparks, uh, just to sell the effect a little bit better. But I think you get the idea. So, yeah, thanks a lot for watching. And please subscribe to my channel, Tunnel Vision TV. And you can also follow me on Twitter, Ruan Lotter. Thank you. Cheers, cheers. Bye.